Well, hello everyone and welcome to another deck video here on the Joggy Scarecrows channel. Today I'm going to be presenting a Nurse Reficule the Fallen One Anti-Heal deck. Um, this is one of my kind of favourite decks and it's also much better in Master Jewel than it is currently in the uh, TCG due to the different ban lists. So we'll be going over what those changes are. Um, essentially a Nurse Reficule deck is you try and play cards that would ordinarily give your opponents life points, but when the nurse is on the field, uh, she's evil and she takes them away. And it's pretty simple to get up to your 8,000 points. Um, the gift card gives your opponent 3,000 life points, and so does try and guess. And then the Paths of Destiny gives that extra 2,000, and so you need um, three of these, essentially, to uh, win the game if you can get that Nurse Reficule on the field. Um, and recently, uh, or at least compared to when this deck was first released um, in the late uh, 2000s, um, there's been a bunch of cards to help you search for Nurse Reficule. Um, Condemned Witch was used, and we're running one of these in here. And you can also run um, maybe like a Forbidden Lance or Forbidden Chalice or something if you want to have that as an option. Um, as well, but we're running uh, Ixchul because you can discard it along with any Dark Lord card, so that includes the, the spells, which I'll get to in a sec, and that'll let you draw a card. Uh, plus, you can then pay a thousand life points and then replicate the effect of that Dark Lord spell or trap. So you can, um, say, get rid of the Nurse Reficule and then replicate the effect of, of Contact to Special Summon it in Defense position. Um, the rest of the deck is, consists of mainly of draw cards, uh, so in uh, Master Jewel you can get three copies of Upstart Goblin, it's already a great card and it is fantastic in this because it can offer that thousand points of burn, so potentially you'd only need to, if you, if you draw two Upstarts, um, you'd only be able to need two of these trap cards. Um, and we're running uh, two copies of Card of Demise and three copies of Into the Void, so you should be rifling through your deck. And um, if you want to, you can add in things like Cross of Duality, but it affects your ability to Special Summon, uh, which means that um, Dark Lord Ixtral's effect won't activate. So it depends, I guess, on how you want to run the deck. You could maybe run um, more, I don't know, emphasis on Bad Reaction to Sumuchi, which is the trap equivalent of Nurse Reficule. So if you can't get the Nurse Reficule out, your opponent destroys it, you can still activate a bad reaction. Um, in terms of um, XCs, uh, or and Link Monsters should I say, we're not running anything because you want to be picking either XCs or Synchro with Try and Guess um, to guarantee the gain of 3000 life points, which you can use on yourself in a pinch if you need to, but most of the time you're going to be using it on your opponent, so your idea is you guess zero because you're running no XEs, and then uh, your opponent will often be running um, something, and then you can you can smack them down for 3,000 points of damage. Two fairy monsters can link to Condemn Dark Lord. This is the only real link monster that you'll be going into. You'll see this extra deck is kind of smaller than normal, um, and that's because you can really fill it in with whatever you want, because uh, honestly there's not much need for it. You could even play part of Extravagance. Um, but that prevents you from using your other draw cards, and with Upstart Goblin so readily available, um, we've, we've chosen this distribution of cards. Um, this lets you uh, basically add Nurse Reficle straight to your hand, and um, it allows you to gain some, some life points. Uh, so you won't use it that often, but if you happen to be in the position where you, I don't know, have some Dark Lord Ixtrals on the field, uh, and you would like Nurse Reficule, you can use Condemned Dark Lord to get it there. So yeah, it's a really basic deck in terms of principle, um, and I think in terms of the Master Jewel, this is the best version of it. You'll struggle a bit more, obviously, game two, but we've got Max C in there, so hopefully you can just keep baiting your opponents out, because for the most part, other than uh, Dark Lord Contact and Banishment to the Dark Lords, you can activate things multiple times per turn. Um, so you hopefully will get enough access to, you can bait maybe your opponent's negates with Reficule, and then use Simucci to finish them off. 
Right, that's all. Quick one this time. Uh, check out other videos on the channel for more creative deck videos for Master Jewel, and I'll see you for the next video.